Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did some more quests, and this one, we're gonna do some things here in Colony 6. Now, I came out here because I could have sworn there was supposed to be bitter wasps out here, unless they don't come out during the rain. Because I forget if the bitter wasp is a nighttime or daytime enemy, because there's two types of wasp enemies. One comes out during the day, the other comes out at night, and you can very easily confuse them. Um, and end up hunting the wrong monster. For the, I think it's like the trouble uh, bug lover quest. But right now it's raining, so I don't think they come out during rain. It's a little disappointing. First off, I believe we had a surprise quest. I think the ether crystal deposit was being attacked. We'll go look into that. They, unless the Mechon decide, yeah, it's raining, so we're not going to come out. No, there they are. About to say, the Mechon are afraid of rain. Let's get rid of them. While they're here, our Ether Crystal Deposit is going to be affected. What is he doing? He's just sidestepping and not attacking. Is he... Okay, that was weird. Why are we suddenly rocking out? <laughs> Why is the rock music kicked in? Did something else join the fight? Oh, those things joined. Is there a unique monster among them? You eliminated the threat and the difficult enemies have appeared by the ether plant. The attack's over, so everything should be back to normal. Yes! The drifter Jawad is attacking us. That's why we're suddenly rocking out. Which is... He's also doing that weird side set. What is going on in this fight? What was that weird sidestep jump he was doing? Yeah, I think these are all old equipment, so I don't think they're going to be that useful to me right now. I could look. Yeah, it's old stuff. Oh, and I completely forgot about equipping gems. I gotta do that this episode or uh, in between episodes. I completely forgot about equipping gems. Warp in here. Alright, Juju, let's see what parts of the colony we can fix up. Let's do some how I need Ignis Iron Heart. Didn't realize I was low on that. Where can I get those? Oh no, I only need one. I'm looking at it the wrong way. 
I thought I... I looked at the required and need in the wrong order. Housing level has been increased by one. We built eight houses and a housing block, so this should allow us to invite more people. All right. All right, so there's stuff we need for level three, which we're not going to be getting that for a long while. Because I think the stuff that's there is for... I think you can only get a Valak Mountain, I think, one or two areas. Areas uh, that we're going to be going to in the future. Set up some street eight stalls on the main street all day, all night shopping. Yay! Commerce has been an increase by one. Six shops have been built. A new shop is available in Colony Six. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, they're gonna get a bit expensive, so. Let's see. Plant some flowers on Main Street. The quality of the ether crystals will better than mine. Unfortunately, we need ice cabbages, which we can only get at Valak Mountain. So let's upgrade to special. Build a farm. We'll be able to raise Amus. Ooze that may even help you complete your collectopedia. Da -da -da! Farms have been built. You can now get collectibles there. And we've upgraded the colony to level 2. Level 2 completion bonus. Street lights have been built. And for completing the colony to level 2, we get an XP up free. That could be good. Let's see, are there any quests available to us? I think there are, but I think the NPCs I'm thinking of only come out during the day. Let's take a look at the stuff we built. Here's some houses. I'll need to eventually look up the list on everybody I can invite because I believe now that we have housing up, up, uh, leveled up, I think we can invite more people. Colony 6 is starting to look better and better. What do you got for sale? Stuff that is most likely not as good. Guard's helm. It's considered heavy, so only Ryan could wear it, and it's not that good compared to what he has right now. <laughs> Bedtime. I actually need to see if Ricky's learned any new arts. Thunder. I don't know if Dunban's gotten this art yet. Ooh, a Mind Blast book. How's our skill trees looking? Ooh, Shulk is complete pessimism. All right, let's put you on intuition. Uh, 
change time. Let's make it day. Oh, hello. Do you know the little one, Palma? He's got no parents, you see. A very sad story. There's nothing wrong with the boy, but he's a bit quiet. He does worry me. Would you mind saying hi to him every now and then? See what you got in your stall. Uh, I would give him better minimum attack, but not. Yeah, that sucks. That's no different to what she has. As a matter of fact, I think it's the exact same. Oh, I'm <laughs> looking at the wrong character. Uh, has better auto max auto attack. Uh, would increase Ryan's physical by six. Oh, that was a headpiece. And none of this is looking that great. Soaring Tempest. I remember Soaring Tempest actually pretty good. I need to see if Dumban's learned that yet. Let me quickly look at my arts. Dunban, have you learned? Yes, Serene Tempest. This one I remember being a fairly good art. What do I want to put in place of Serene Tempest? Let's put you there. Jaws of Death is actually a good one because it allows him to recover the HP while the while the aura is active. Sacrifice the HP to fill up the Talon Gauge. Yeah, I think off screen I'll look through my arts and see if there's any arts I want to change. Hey, Ricky is angry. Only six looks in, starting to look busy. Everyone always asks if Palma okay. Even though Palma family gone, lots of people look out for Palma. Palma are grateful for new friends. Papuka will do anything he can for good grub. Papuka especially looks for rare foods to put in his dummy. For Hoko in deep trouble right now. Hoko hardly have time to think. Hoko oh in trouble because Hoko cooking a big bad storm. Customers get sick from his food. Customers never finish Hoko's food. Sometimes run away. Hoko must uh, beat other restaurants to survive or business die soon. Hoko need better ingredients to beat Winghead Cook. That's why friends are here to find Hoko good ingredients. I've had the pleasure of sampling one of your dishes. I must say I truly believe a part of my soul died. Wow, done man. Way to be harsh. <laughs> you are mean. Mean hum hum. If you think better ingredients will swing the battle in your favor. Please, friends! Can friends turn blind eye to all these suffering people? 
He said, Hoko's cuisine is so foul that it's putting off customers. For Hoko to beat his rival, he needs fresh ingredients. So he needs free thick Amu milk from the Bionis' leg. Um, and then we need white bogs from Satoru Marsh. So we're going to be going back to Satoru either way. Thank you, friends. Now Hoku Yucky Slop become food fit for emperors and kings. Hurry back. No problem, leave the mate. Very good, Shulk. Let's get this sorted out. Yeah. Hi there. Oh, what can I do? Oh, it's you again. Sounds like you got a problem. Well, Shulk, is this our cue? Yep, we should do whatever we can. Thank you kindly. I must share something with you. I always patronize acceptance of other cultures and people. That's why back in Alkamoth, I lived with a Nopon boy. But one day, he just upped and left. I'm worried that he might be lost, angry, or wor hungry, or worse. Ricky feel bad for Bird Girl. He's not uh, like good Nopon, good Nopon little pond to run away from kind Bird Lady. You understand, good. But he'll not. Uh, but let's not get sidetracked by being correct. Yes, Ricky Sari. What a good little thing you are. I search for him everywhere, you see, but I can't find him. Would you be so kind to lend a hand in the search? Pong Kukarov of a Nopon who's living in it with Makesh hasn't returned home. Locate his whereabouts. I'm truly grateful. His most striking character traits are that he's shy but a bit cheeky. He enjoys playing in grassy areas and goes by the name of Nopo Kurak. I give him that name, by the way. Good luck. I hope you find him find him safe. No problem. Leaves the me. Now, I believe he is located by one of the farms, yeah. but he only comes out at night. Now, funny thing is, is that if I remember correctly, you could go to, um... His competitor, and I believe he trades one of the items you need. No, oh no, th he needs his item later on. But it's kind of funny that you could go to his competitor and trade for the item you want. So yeah, so we gotta go and kill some Amus for the milk, which I think he specifically mentioned the ones of Bionis leg, and then we have to go to Satora March to kill some Bogs. And. Wait, there's somebody here? Wait, is he actually here during the day? I thought he was only out during night. <laughs> what? It'd be you guys. Never think anyone would discover that I moved here. Oh, well. Can I do something for you? Makesh be looking for me. You guys just don't stop helping people, don't y does you? Well, I have expect she would come looking for me. I suppose I should visit her and say hello once in a while. And I'll be dying for a good meal. See you around the colony. So that added to our population despite them already living here. So I don't know what it added. Like what? Were they not living in the colony beforehand? Yeah, there's no fast travel to where she is. Well, at least that will take me directly to her. Oh no, she moves here. So I could have fast travel right here. You found a uh, Nopo Rock for me. I thought I would never get him back. However, however, can I repay you? Glad everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance, dance, Nopon dance. A Nopon dance. I wonder what that would go like. I guess I should expect nothing less from you kind souls. After all, you're the ones who are rebuilding the colony for us. You're so nice. It won't be long before this colony is truly... Multicultural. I was about to say, like, what is that word? 
I'm going to do my best to help help it on its way as well. Noble Rock has returned to Makesh, but something suggests things aren't going well. So if we go back to the farm, we can find out exactly what's happening. Also, the farm, um, once you build it, I believe it can spawn materials that are from, um, I believe, from Air, from Machna Forest all the way to Air of Sea, I believe. Where is he? Oh, no, he's actually further in. I thought he was at the... Oh, he's moving. No wonder he wasn't here. Wait, does he... Did he disappear when I turned back time? Or did I turn time forward? Here he is. I accidentally turned time forward. Feels like a moth flying headfirst into an ether lamp. Over and over. Please, please, please. I need your help. Sounds like you got a problem. Well, Shulk, isn't this our cue? Yep, we should do whatever we can. Now don't tell me you've forgotten that great favor you did to me. After you found me, I went back to say hello to her. And before I knows it, I'm back to square one under her wings. She feed me awful food, my life being a living, living nightmare. She strokes and pat me non-stop and makes me sleep on, on her bed. Worse be when I have to carry shopping like pack Amu. She treats me like a servant, can't bear it anymore. Help me win my freedom back. Looking for freedom. We can collect a smelly perfume in the poison swamp in Satora Mars. Desperate to escape a the demanding <laughs> ending high end to your girl. Noble Rock needs your help, but don't let her chest know. Okay, my plan is simple. Need smelly perfume. If I smell so unbearably bad, she will not let me in her in the house. You must keep this a secret. Don't tell my chest. No problem, leave to me. If Shulk puts his mind to it, Ricky know he succeed. I'm relying on you too, Ricky. Now, believe it or not, you can tell uh, Machess about this. And actually telling Machess actually leads to better affinity in the area. Hi there. So actually telling Machess and helping her will actually lead to better affinity. <laughs> you think it wouldn't, but it does. And since I want to try and go for... Er for the best affinity possible, I'm going to be helping Machesh. Have you, prefer by perchance, seen Nopo Gorak? I can see from your face you have something to tell me. Please, what is what is he doing? So that's what the Nopo Gorak Nopo is planning. That I have a plan for him. Do you think you could get me some pure perfume? It's sent so magnificent it, and the one and the complete opposite of his one. If you give that no nopo gorak nikrak this plant and will be foiled. So now we can choose to either get the vile perfume or the perfect perfume, which I think you need to look in your quest log to find out where the perfect perfume is. Yeah, the perfume, per, the pure perfume, which is in Machna Forest, which I believe the one that he wants will disappear as a result. But yeah, helping Majesh leads to better affinity. You wouldn't think it, judging by what the Nopon says to you, but trust me, it does lead to better results. I just want to come here real quickly because I want to try and spawn the particular bugs I want. Here we go. So yeah, these are the bugs you want. They all it says they weren't here because it was raining. These are the ones we need to hunt. Luckily, because I'm extremely over leveled, they should go down in just one hit. Good job, 
Okay, everyone do good. It's just depends if they want to be stingy with their drops. Yeah, these are the ones you want to hunt. Luckily, Definitive Edition marks these enemies. So you know if you're hunting the right ones. In the original, you could very easily confuse them for the ones that appear during the daytime and be spending hours hunting the wrong enemy. Luckily, they are near fast travel points, so if they don't spawn the items, just fast travel back here, and you'll make all the wisps respawn. Alright, that's guaranteed fluid. Ooh, another one! Alright, this is going nice and quick. Now they're back to being stingy. We got through that pretty good. Let's press off. Breaking like fighting easy monsters. Let's say it's like there should be like one right next to me. But don't drop your guard. I don't have time for small fries. Ricky can win by And of course they're back to being stingy. Nice. We got through that pretty good. Not bad. I can see Come on, I only need two more. Dreamers. That was too easy. Breaking like fighting easy monsters. Let's press. Okay, just need one more. Ooh, there's one further ahead of me. Quickly go check it before I fast travel and respawn everything. Nice, we got the five we need. So let's hunt some Almus. Now we just need to hunt them for their milk. Oh, nice! I already got all I need. I'll just quickly beat up these uh, this lot. <laughs> One shot, two kills. Quickly travel to Satora Marsh, try to get as much done there. Now the look, I think it's the perp yeah, I think it said the perp uh the pure perfume is here. And then also look for the bogs. Uh, so nice seeing the beauty of nighttime here at Satora Marsh. Although I hope the enemies I need to look for aren't day. Also, need to find out where the hell the pure perfume is. There's the detox bog. We need to kill a few of these things. Of course, it's gonna be stingy with its drops. Okay. Actually, yeah, I think we'll end the episode here. So, in the next episode, we'll continue our hunt for the bogs and also look for the pure perfume. And maybe do a few more side quests in Colony 6. So, if you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.